Filmic Pro is one of the top recommended camera apps for iPhone and Android. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Sandy. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel for another video. And if you're new here, make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell beside it for you to get notified every time I upload new video. In this video, we're doing a complete updated Filmic Pro tutorial using all the latest features. So let's jump into the video. So here we are in Filmic Pro. Let's start first by going through the settings. And to get everything set up, ready for shooting before we jump into the interface and how all of this stuff works. First thing you want to set is your resolution. Again, by going through the settings, tap on that. In here, you got lots of different options. Across the top here, you can add different overlays on your videos. If you want to add cinematic black bars to your video, you can do that here or crop your video down to a specific size. You also have a one by one video for Instagram and make sure to select this one here to produce a one by one size video. Back to 16 by 9 and below we got to choose our video resolution. As you can see, your set at 1080p or we can go all the way back to SD 540p up to 4k 2160p down below we got to choose the quality of that video and we can also go all the way back from economy standard filmic quality and filmic extreme and below that we got to choose the video codec the default here is AVC or we can choose HEVC. You can also enable HDR video recording down here. Now back to previous menu screen, just tap on the screen. For frame rate, we can pick a frame rate everything from 24 to 240. And also you got time lapse functionality as well. So we'll go back to standard and leave this at 24 frame per second. Now what I would highly recommend for your capture frame per second and playback frame per second should be set to be the same. For your auto shutter, you have 50 hertz shutter and 60 hertz shutter. Now we're gonna look at the audio. So the only options in here is to use the camera microphone. And you can also select video only if you don't want to use the audio and the video processing. For your device, you got automatically archive footage, orientation lock, stitch recorded footage, GPS tagging, and uh, lots of different settings down here. You can enable that if you want and also you got noise reduction and edge enhancement down here to stabilization you can turn that on and off for your camera you can also choose the rear selfie and selfie wide come up here to presets here we can actually save our presets based on all the settings that we just set up Across to hardware, we got Zhiyun Smooth 4, we got Movie Cinema and the 2 adapter, and lots of different settings down here that you can enable that if you want. For your actual interface, you can see the audio bus on the right hand side to adjust the volume down here. And this slider up here is to zoom in and out. Big round button here is your recording button. This one will let us play back or can view all of our clips that we have recorded. The settings button, your storage indicator, battery indicator, your time code on how long we've been recording, and your frame per second and your resolution. Over this side, A button, this will bring out all about overlays. We got focus picking and other overlays that we have in here now we got a little box for a focus box and outside big box for your exposure 
For your manual settings, we've got our exposure control and at the right hand side is our zoom and focus control. For your white balance in this three color circle icon, press on that. And in here you got access to presets for white balance. And if you don't want to put in specific color temperature, then you can use this slider here. And you can adjust the tint of the shot here as well. The first area here is the white balance and the two other menu area in here which are included or unlocked in the cinematographer kit which is an additional purchase on top of Filmic Pro. Once you've got all your settings ready, all you need to do is to press the record button and to record your video masterpiece. So that is a complete walkthrough of Filmic Pro. I hope you guys found this video useful and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.